Here's a quick guide to the levels specified in the SAE J3016 standard. Level 0 is a traditional car with no automation capability beyond something like a fixed speed cruise control. Level 1 is a smart cruise control system or other system that can control the speed or the steering of the vehicle, but for most cars that usually means smart cruise control. Level 2 is an autopilot type system. That means that it does both automated lane keeping and also adaptive cruise control, which means automated distance keeping from other vehicles on the road. The final responsibility for OEDR rests on the driver. It is essential that the driver in a level two system continuously pays attention to the roadway and is ready to react at a moment's notice to take control. Level three is a human fallback driver. The difference between level two and level three is that at level three, the vehicle performs the entire dynamic driving task, DDT, including OEDR, but not the fallback task. There's a subtlety here that's important. Sometimes one hears that level three has to do with the vehicle telling the driver to take control. That can happen sometimes, but might not happen because part of the fallback task is noticing that something's wrong with the vehicle even if the ADS misses it. At level three, the human is still entirely responsible for safety if something goes wrong, while the vehicle is responsible for driving properly in the absence of some sort of failure. At level four, the vehicle is completely automated within a limited operational design domain, ODD. The automated driving system, ADS, has to handle the entire dynamic driving task and fallback. That means it's only at level four where the human driver can truly go to sleep in the back seat and not worry about the driving because the entire responsibility for driving and driving safety falls on the ADS at level four. Level five is associated with automated driving on an unlimited ODD, but the ODD is in fact limited to things such as paved drivable roads. Level five does not address route planning, passenger safety, cargo safety, and other aspects of safety that are relevant to an automated vehicle, but are not specifically associated with the dynamic driving task and fallback responsibility.